All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another extra of the T-Miles Boss Show. And in today's extra, I wanted to talk on the video game Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, I played a little bit of this game, and I have seen uh, that this game was receiving very bad ratings. I, I mean, like, it was receiving... I think at one point in time, it was in the negatives on Steam. I think now it's um, a mix. It might have went up because... No, the crazy thing about it is that when this game very first, um, like Dragon Dogmas 2, I never played the first one, but when the second one, when it came out, I, well, be, actually, no, no, before it came out, a lot of people were hyping this game up, like, they were making it out as, like, this is going to be a really good game, so that's what left me so curious about the game, because I'm like, oh, well, if that's the case, the game looks good, I might have to go ahead and cop this game. I did, um, by the way, I ended up watching, uh, Face Jeb's video, um, on the game, and yeah, I, I really did, uh, like his video, and it overall, um, yeah, it, it motivated me to go out and buy the game, but... No, let's go ahead. So it's a it's a mix right now on uh, Steam, but I think on Xbox it had like a four star. It was either close to four stars, but regardless, though, no, this is a good game. All right, to anybody out there saying that this game is bad, I'm like, I I. So here's the thing. I will say that the game it did have, and I don't know, maybe that's just me, just you know, being a little bit, you know, too noticeable when it like just noticing too many things with the game. But I, my thing is this: I like when a game when the frame rate is solid, like it ain't looking all choppy. I was noticing that on my PC. I don't know, maybe it's just some things in the settings that I didn't change all the way, or but regardless. I did get the game on Xbox, and I have been playing the game on Xbox, and I haven't got to a say because I'm also playing Rise of the Ronin, so I'm I'm trying to like play that game and then play this. And I'm like, bruh, it's, it's a lot right now. It's a lot going on, but no, I will say that Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2, it is a good game. All right, I don't care what anybody, and I know people are saying like, oh, the game it's like filled with microtransactions, and even Face Jeff was saying that, and I'm all like, I've noticed that with the game that I haven't had to play besides buying the game. I I haven't had to put no other um extra amounts of money into the game so it's I, and that's why um what i think that it is it's kind of like warframe where it's like if you don't want to uh like i guess just hurry up and get the stuff right away then you can just buy it right now but um and i don't even know what it is that requires the um microtransactions like the purchase um like what you need to purchase with your actual money and things because i'm like i i haven't really made it that far into the game but regardless i like i know i'm not gonna do it but i guess if there is something that i really Really, really want then it's either i'll find out how to get it through the game or just go out and buy it and stuff but i'm like yeah i'm like if i had just spent 70 dollars on the game i'm like bro i'm i'm chilling but no it is I, I guess it is supposed to based off of what phase jeb has said it is supposed to be kind of like a uh, warframe where they do have that option where you can play the game and unlock whatever it is that you want to um unlock but uh, at the same time they do have that option if you just want to cut straight to you know getting the whatever it is that you want to get and things you very well can do that so yeah i think a lot of people that they are um you know just like not overall they're not playing the game like how they should be playing it and stuff and i'm like i don't know maybe they are and then because uh, let, let, let's just see some of the reviews on steam real quick excuse me but yeah it's like this game oh so no it actually does oh no wait wait a second there was oh no wait there was like that's a spoiler there's like gave a good crack at it, it didn't help all right so this is a one of the reviews didn't help that it is an embarrassing broken game with flaws and outdated mechanics so apparent it comes across a lazy game development 70 dollars for this insanity i didn't think the game was lazy i think visually it looks nice i think yeah the mechanics it, it is kind of old-fashioned but i'm like fam i would rather here's the thing I would rather have old mechanics than for them to add new mechanics to the game and then they don't look right. And I'm like, versus something that they already know about the talking on the old mechanics. I'm like, yeah, I'd rather. And it's funny because this person, they'll turn right back around and they'll go and play a game off of a PlayStation 2 or their Xbox 360. And I'm like, it ain't like that game. Um, Games back then had like, you know, new mechanics and all. At the time they were new, but they they're considered old now. So it's like what that's that's when people when they say things like that i'm like bruh then i i don't know with me personally i'm like if a game is being retro 
And, uh, you know, they're using old mechanics or old visuals, whatever. But it's a good, solid game. I'm like, bruh, I don't... Yeah, I guess maybe 74 is a little bit too pricey. But I'm all like, that's usually the... That's the price now for a lot of games. It's $70. I'm like, I'd rather buy this game than to buy a game that's halfway unfinished. And it's filled with season passes. All these different updates, DLCs, and all this other stuff. And I'm like... Fam, can I just play the game in half? I'm like, look at Call of Duty for an example. They charged us $70 for pretty much a DLC. They they gave us what? A brand they gave us a new story in a different zombie mode. But other than that, pretty much everything else about that game remained the same. That that's why I'm like, people, they be like, it, it's funny when it's like they'll say things like that. And I'm all like, I, I wonder what kind of games this person be playing. I'm like, cause I, I I am a little bit curious. You know, I ain't trying to call this person out, but at the same time, what what games do they? Oh, they don't even show like what kind of games they play and stuff. But yeah, definitely, I'm like, that's that's some that's some crazy stuff. Somebody just said slop, and but they put 27 hours into it, and then the uh, the other person where I read, they were talking about the game got old mechanics. They put 9.2 hours. It just it's funny when people they put a lot of hours into the game, and then they just say so. And I think that's probably has a lot to do with the fact that maybe they're not good at the game. I don't know, but. I think that a lot of times when people, when they be saying crazy stuff like that, it's like, yeah, you, you they just, it's either they're not good at the game or they got to a point in time in the game where they got stuck and now they want to call the game because I've done stuff like that. I've gotten mad at games and I'm all like, I'll get halfway through and I'm like, nah, man, for an example, Cyberpunk 2077, all, I will say that that game is good, but I did get stuck on the part where I was all like, nah, bro, it just, it had me upset, but I can't say that the game is good and I will get back into that game at some point in time. But, yeah, I just think that today's, um, you know, like, when it comes to reviews and stuff, you pretty much got to be the judge on whether or not you're going to like that game. Because a lot of times, people's reviews don't really be all that accurate in things. And so I think that they're just um, following with the trend of, oh, let's give this game bad reviews and stuff because everybody else is giving it bad reviews. But I personally think Dragon Dogma, um, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a good game, and I think it's a game worth checking out. So, anyways, um, yeah, but yeah, like, the mechanics i like the mechanics i like the fighting mechanics i'm liking the story i'm liking uh what others um the visuals everything about that game i think it's one of those games where at some point in time people are going to uh like it a little bit more so but anyways with that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening um, I will do a video version of this at some point in time. I just wanted to do this, but yeah, I'm like, I got nine minutes to like try to post this, post some videos and then start my stream up all before midnight. So sorry if this seemed like a little rushed and things, but anyways, thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next, um, extra and peace.